All right, so welcome to the second part of our procedural ice cream in Unity. So last time we made this, this square here, made of two triangles, as you can see here. And today we are going to be making a circle. All right, let's get right into it. So first things first, I'm going to disable this procedural mesh here and create a new game object called procedural circle all right let's reset the transform let's create another game object under it as we did last time and call it mesh so the mesh like we did before will have a mesh filter and a mesh render let's assign the material to this mesh render i think it was procedural mesh all right perfect and now we're going to create a new procedural circle so let's create a new c sharp script for it procedural circle all right perfect let's drag and drop it into the procedural circle game object and open it okay cool so before doing anything I, i'm just gonna refresh your mind a little bit if if i can say so and talk about trigonometry. So for those of you who don't like math, I think it's the right time to leave the video. For all the other ones, stay tuned. All right, so to make a procedural circle, we will want to place our vertices first. So to do so, if you, rem if you remember well your trigonometry courses, you can place a point in a circle, around the circle, like so, only using the angle and using the cosine and the sine of it. So for instance, if the angle is zero, the cosine is equal to one and the sine to zero. If the angle is 45, the cosine is dot seven and the sine dot seven to around, something like that. Okay, so let's use this to place our vertices. So first things off, let's create the elements here. Let's make a reference to our mesh filter call it filter like last time here let's generate our circle and create the method so i'm just rushing a little bit because it's like it's the same thing as we did before generate circle all right let's create the mesh cause new mesh all right and let's assign our mesh to the filter all right, let's create a list of vector three, which will be the vertices. Let's initialize it. Let's create a list of integers, uh, which will be the triangles, but we won't use it now. And finally, let's assign them. So mesh.vertices equals vertices.toArray and mesh.triangles equals triangles.toArray. All right, perfect. And here we can do whatever we want here. All right, so let's place the vertices. So first off, we will need a circle resolution. So let's create a new header for the settings. And let's create a new integer called circle resolution. And here I'm going to add a range attribute just to specify to Unity that we want our circle resolution to be minimum three and maximum let's say 20 i think 20 is a good number all right so let's place our first vertex the first vertex of our circle will be the center of it so let's add vertices dot add uh, center which is vector 3 dot 0 all right but we can do as we did last time. So let's create a new vector three here and call it center. And let's place it at the center. All right. Just a quick side note. You need to know that the positions of the vertices are in local space, not in world space. So whenever we are going to move our game object, the whole mesh will move with it. All right, perfect. So now we've added the center, then we will need a loop. So we are going to be using a for loop to place all the other vertices. All right, so we are going to loop from zero to the circle resolution. And here we can say vector three 
vertex equals vector 3.0. So no, let's say center. So let's place our vertex to the center first. All right. One thing I forgot here is that we need a radius for our circle. So let's create a new float for that and call it radius. All right, perfect. So here we are going to use our trigonometry lessons or knowledge to place the vertices. All right, so first off, we need to find the angle between two points. So here, angle between two points. Float angle between points equals 360, so a full revolution of a circle divided by our circle resolution. We can take this variable here and place it here, just not to create a new one every time we iterate through the loop. All right. So the vertex.x will be equals to equal to radius, no, plus equals, sorry, to radius times mathf.cosine of the angle between the points times times the iterator, so i, times mathf.degrees to radians, because mathf.cos takes in a radians value, not a degrees value. All right. So same thing for the, the y value. We are going to say radius times, here it's not the cosine, but the sine of the angle between the points times a times the degrees to radians multiplier. All right. We will specify the uh, z value of the vertex later on. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's now try it out. But just to see if our vertices are well placed, I'm going to call the onDraw gizmos uh, method. Set the gizmos color to red. Okay. And for first, I'm going to check if the mesh of the circle is null or not. If filter, if sorry, filter dot mesh equals no return all right so here we're going to look through filter dot mesh dot vertices dot length okay so we're just going to draw a simple uh, wire sphere at the vertex position so filter dot mesh dot vertices i and let's just give it a radius of dot one f okay cool now we can see if our code is properly written. So let's go back to Unity. Let's assign. Oh, we have a null reference exception here. Okay, let's check at line 62. So line 62 is equal. To, yeah, it's here because we haven't specified the mesh filter yet. So let's give it to him. Here is the mesh filter. Okay. So circle resolution, let's say six or five for a pentagon or six for a hexagon. And let's give it a radius of one. Okay, let's hit play. And here you can see that we only have one point. So let's check our mesh instance and it has only one vertex here. Why? Because we haven't added the vertex here to the vertices list. So let's say vertices.add vertex. Okay, let's go back and now we should be good. Let's hit play. Here we go. Now we have all the circle vertices. Perfect. Let's get ready to make the triangles now. Oh, by the way, I have a little roadmap here. So explain how to set the vertices. We've just set up the vertices. Now I need to show you how to draw the triangles. Okay, perfect. Just to show you here, we can set the resolution to 16 and you can see that we have more points. So 16 points here in the outline and one at the center. So it's 17 points in total. All right, let's go back to six. Perfect. Okay, now let's go back to our code. We can take just to make things clearer, we can take this vertices list and triangles list and set it outside of the method. 
it's going to be clearer and easier on the eye in the future. So let's make a new header for the data and we're going to grab these, even the mesh actually. So grab these, drop them here. All right. So I'm going to remove this line here and call it, create a new mesh every time we are generating the circle. So here, new mesh. All right, perfect. And I also want to clear the vertices array list, sorry, and triangles lists, just to avoid having the previous data plugged into our new data. All right. Um, then we can leave this as is, and we can say, we can create a new method here and call it create vertices. All right. So let's grab all of this and put it in our new method and call it here, create vertices. Now we are going to create a new method called create triangles. And let's write it right now. By the void, create triangles. All right. How are we going to create our triangles here? If you remember well the previous uh, lesson, I think it was right here, we made the triangles using the indices of the vertices. So we are going to be doing the same thing here. We have the center point here, the center vertex. So we are going to be creating a triangle from 0 to 1 to 2. Okay, let's give it a color. And for the other point here, we're going to create another triangle from 0 to 2 to 3. And so, so on and so forth. All right, let's do that. Sorry. Okay, so let's create. Ju let's just create the first triangle to see if we've got everything right here. So let's say triangles dot add index zero, which is the center. Center. Okay. Triangles dot add vertex one, but we have to go the other way around. If you remember well, to have the face facing us. Triangles dot add vertex index one. All right. Let's go back to Unity hit play. Perfect. We have our first triangle here. Okay. Let's do the second one. So we're going to be adding triangles dot add zero index zero triangles dot add index three triangles dot add index two. All right. Let's go back and check if this works. Hit play. Perfect. We have our second triangle here. All right, but do you think we are going to do that for all the points? Imagine if we have like a, a resolution of 100 or, or something like that. We want to do the, all the triangles manually. So let's create a full loop for that. Let's create a loop. Here you can see that there is a pattern. So there is the center, the index, two, one, and then it's the index three, two. So let me show you. Let's create a for loop from zero to circle resolution minus one. And we are going to be adding the center because we always add the center. All right. Then we are going to be adding the index y plus two. And finally, y, uh, i, sorry, plus one. All right, so let's remove these now because the loop should be taking, uh, taking care of everything now. Let's hit play. And as you can see, we have one triangle that is missing. We're almost there though. So imagine this case. Okay. For this triangle here, we need to... So here we said... Zero, we made a triangle from 0 to 2 to 1. Okay, so this is this one. Then we made a triangle from 0 to 3 to 2. But we, if we include the last triangle in our loop, so let me quickly draw the last triangle. 
okay you go back a little bit okay here we will have uh, 0 7 6 that's wrong we should have 0 to 7 to 1 so the last triangle will will be set up manually actually that's the best solution for now so let's do that here we're going to add a small comment set up the last triangle manually okay so we're going to be adding triangles that add index zero then we're going to be adding the first index that add index one sorry and then the last vertex so the last vertex is the index circle resolution plus one all right because this plus one is we add one here because of the center that we did not take into consideration in the circle resolution okay so let's hit play and it doesn't work because it was circle resolution of course and let's hit play perfect now we have a full circle all right cool in the next video, we are going to see how to make a cylinder because it's the next step to making a procedural ice cream. But we are getting there. If you like the video, please make sure to subscribe, like the video, and uh, I'll see you soon. Have fun.